Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. One of the questions that I get asked about all the time is in regards to backups and how do I back up my videos? How do I back up my videos for the YouTube channel? How do I back up my corporate and documentary work? So I thought in this video, I'll run you through three ways that you can create backups or archive versions of your videos. Okay, so you've just finished your video masterpiece, whether it's a YouTube video, whether it's a full-on feature film. What I'd recommend everyone do, and this is option one, is to create a master version of that video. This is typically the version that you will upload to YouTube or to Vimeo, but it's something that you should definitely keep as the highest quality version of the video that you've created. So when you're exporting, pick the best quality settings that you can for your video. So what you'll end up with there is an archivable master file in the best quality, best resolution for the video that you've created. Beyond that, you'll have to ask yourself the question or figure out the likelihood that you'll ever have to open up that video editing project ever again. If you never, ever will be opening up that video editing project again, then that one archivable, full quality master of your video may be enough. In the case of these YouTube videos, that is exactly the process. For every video, we export a full quality master and we save that and we back that up. Our backups go to Google Drive and they go to Dropbox. And we've also got a physical drive that we copy everything off to and put it on the shelf in the cupboard. So besides backing up our B-roll footage or our overlay footage, footage that could be used in another video down the track, the rest of the editing project, it is extremely unlikely that we will ever need to reopen that and make changes and then save out another version of these videos. So then after about three weeks, so we've given the video time to settle, to get some comments and feedback and everything, we will then delete all of the projects and all the files associated with that video that are no longer needed because the chances of us ever needing to go back and open and make any changes is probably next to nothing. So we don't bother keeping them. So that's the main question you'll have to ask yourself. Now, if you've answered yes to that question, and there is a chance that you'll need to go back and re-edit or make any changes to that video at a later date, or you just wanna make sure that you're saving everything with the video project that you've created, then you should look at step two and step three. Now, step two is to do a total backup or a full backup of your file and folder tree structure. So when you're creating your editing project, it's really good practice to create a folder on your computer where everything for that editing project goes into. I'll link up on screen now a video we did a while back talking about file and folder structures for your video editing projects. So in this folder should be everything that you've used for your video editing project, all your music, your graphics, your animations, your project files for the actual edit, everything in the one folder. And then it's just a matter of backing up that folder to somewhere like an external drive or some cloud storage, depending on how big that is. Now, the biggest thing you'll notice with step two versus step one is the file size difference. Exporting only the finished product is going to give you a much, much smaller file or smaller backup than backing up every file that you used in your entire edit. Even if you've got a one hour video that you've ended up using two seconds of in your finished product, then method two will back up that entire one hour file as well, even though you only used a short portion of it. So now onto option three, and this is actually a tool that's built into most professional video editing software, and it's called media management or project management. So what this does is you can either pick your entire video editing project from within your video editing software and choose to export or consolidate is what it's called, all of the files into a new folder. So the beauty of this method is it'll copy your footage from no matter where it's located and where it's linked or brought into your editing project, it'll copy everything that you've used into a new folder that you can then back up. And that folder will contain everything that is used in your video editing project. Depending on your editing software, you can also do this on a timeline or on a sequence basis. So if you've got a huge overall video editing project and it might have 10 different videos inside it, if you only wanna export or back up one of those timelines or one of those videos, 
In a lot of cases and in a lot of programs, you can just pick that one timeline. You can media manage or consolidate just the files that were used in that timeline. So not everything from the entire project, just every little clip, every little sound effect, every little bit of music, every graphic that was used in that one timeline, you can pull out and it will copy, it leaves everything else intact to a new folder that you can then back up. Now this is a great way to move projects between different editors as well, because you're only transferring the data Data that's actually used, not a whole heap of extra data that just happened to be sitting in the project that may or may not have been used. Now this is something you can do in Final Cut, in Premiere, in Avid, you'll find it in most professional video editing software. But one step up from that again, is that in some cases and with some programs, you'll actually have the option to specify handles. Now what handles let you do is if you've only used a small portion of a much larger clip in your end product, you can create what's called handles, whereas it'll only take the piece that you've used and it will take a little bit, a handle, on either side. So you can choose five frames or 10 frames. So you're taking slightly more than what was used in your finished timeline. So in case you've got to go back and edit again, you've got a little bit more wiggle room in case you've got to apply any transitions or any effects, or you want to make any slight changes to that edit, you've got a bit more footage without having to export the entire clip when you've only used a short portion of it. So that was a pretty quick run through of three ways to back up your editing projects. I would highly recommend that everyone at least does step one and if you need to do it depending on the project look at step two or step three as well. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure you click that big subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're looking to streamline your editing process and you're looking for the most efficient editing process, then check out the link on screen now to our free PDF download. I'll see you soon.